we shall sing the first two verses of hymn number 41. Hymn number 41. Christ be his Christ be
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brethren, it is written that Abraham had two sons, one by a slave and one by a free woman. But the son of the slave was born according to the flesh. The son of the free woman through promise. Now, this is an allegory. These two women are two covenants. One is from Mount Sinai, bearing children for slavery. She is Hagar. But the Jerusalem above is free, and she is our mother. For it is written, Rejoice, O barren one who does not bear. Break forth and shout, you who are not the labor pains. For the desolate has more children than she who has a husband. So, brethren, we are not children of the slave, but of the free woman. For freedom, Christ has set us free. Stand fast, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. The word of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed forevermore. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forevermore. From the rising of the sun to its setting, praise be the name of the Lord. High above all nations is the Lord, above the heavens his glory. Who is like the Lord our God, who lowers himself to look down upon heaven and earth? From the dust he lifts up the lowly, from the ash heap he raises the poor. Solomon is here. 
the men of Nineveh will arise at the judgment with this generation and condemn it. For they repented at the preaching of Jonah, and behold, something is greater than Jonah here. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Brothers and sisters, as we have just heard in the Gospel, some people were looking for a sign. Signs different and more convincing than the ones Jesus was already giving. Is it not true that we too are among those who look for signs other than the ones God is already giving us in our daily lives. How often do we say, if only God would give me a clearer sign. We are often on the lookout for extraordinary signs, in part because of the weakness of our faith, but also because we are not attentive to the signs given by God already present in our lives, signs which he puts on the way of each one of us. In looking for the extraordinary, we can miss the divine presence in ordinary things. Jesus seemed ordinary to his neighbours. Is not this the son of the carpenter? When he spoke about God's kingdom, he did so in simple terms, like the sower going out to sow, or the man who was robbed on the road to Jericho, or the bees that grow along the field of wheat. He said that signs of God's presence are in the ordinary stuff of daily life for those who have eyes to see. Right now, we pray for eyes to see God's presence, his signs in the ordinary. Jesus refused to give signs to those who are asking for them, except the sign of the prophet Jonah. Jonah was a sign from God to the people of Nineveh. The prophet Jonah went to Nineveh, a pagan city, to proclaim God's call to repentance and to offer the Ninevites a last chance to convert, to change their lives. And they responded. The sign of Jonah is, in fact, the preaching of Jesus. Looking for other signs, says Jesus, is often a pretext for refusing to reply to the call to conversion. The passage we heard also speaks of the Queen of Sheba, who went to consult King Solomon for his advice, and she welcomed it gladly. And yet Jesus says he is greater than Solomon, and still people refuse to accept his wisdom. And we, we, what attention do we pay to Jesus' words? How much importance do we give to them? To that little voice within us calling us to change our ways and follow the way he has shown us.
given a person greater than Jonah, who invites us to follow him, and now encourages us to pray in his name. That God's people may understand and appreciate the freedom that has come to them through the death and resurrection of Jesus. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. That the church may be seen throughout the world as a people of repentance and reconciliation. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. That we translate repentance into our lives so that we turn from sin to grace. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. That we promote the work of reconciliation in our own country so that there may be peace and harmony among all people. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. That those who have died, especially Anna, may be brought to eternal peace and rest. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Gracious God, your word challenges and transforms us. Help us to walk in your ways. Your word transforms our gifts of bread and wine, so that they become for us the body and blood of Christ. Help us to celebrate his saving mysteries. We ask this through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread of your life. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine of your feet, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, the prayers of your faithful with the sacrificial offerings, that through these acts of devotedness we may pass over to the glory of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, 
His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints we praise you, as without end we acclaim. Amen.
the disciples said to Jesus, Lord, teach us how to pray. And he said to them, when you pray, say, Our Father, who art in heaven,
For those who cannot receive Holy Communion at this time, we invite you to make this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> we entreat your majesty most humbly, O Lord, that as you feed us with the nourishment which comes from the most holy body and blood of your Son, so you make us sharers of his divine nature, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Amen. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, be a blessing in our progression. Be our protection against the wickedness and the sins of the ill. May God rebuke you when humbly pray, and do the help of priests of the heavenly host. By the power of God, thrust down into hell, Satan and all the evil spirits who wander through the world. Seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And we'll sing the third verse of Him for